Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Franks here, and guess what? Actually, don't bother, because it's pretty obvious. Yes, last night on the staging branch, Helk added the shiny new CH-47, which, if you've been following this channel, you'll know is going to be landing very soon as part of a sexy new airdrop event. But even though that's yet to be implemented, server owners and admins on the staging branch can get their greasy paws all over the Chinook straight away, as it can now be spawned and indeed piloted. Here's what you need to know. This is the console command to make one appear, after which it can be mounted with E and exited with space. Currently there's only room for the pilot, but Hell is working to make it a multi-crew vehicle very soon. If you're not used to flying something like this, the controls can take a bit of practice. They're basically the same as in Battlefield, but here's what they are. W and S are throttle up and down, providing lift and allowing you to descend respectively, whereas A and D control the yaw. Pitch and roll are both adjusted by the mouse, and to move forward you have to point the nose down whilst providing lift. Capiche? Yeah, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it in a jiffy. It's also possible to use free look whilst piloting, but do watch where you're going. Now, all this is very exciting, of course, but before you pass out, it's not going to be something that players will be able to pilot in-game normally when it's properly added. It's mainly designed to be flown by scientist NPCs, and as I say, will be part of a new airdrop event where a locked crate gets dropped off at a specific rad town and will need defending for a time before it can be opened. However, in the interests of testing and allowing the modding community to go ham on it, here it is, and I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of it from here on in. Helk showed us his incredible flying skills last night and assured us that this is definitely not the CH's final form by any means. Bradley has taken an intense dislike to it, for instance, and it's not particularly Henge at the moment, but please don't spaz out if there's anything you don't like about it right now, because as I say, it's literally just been born. Anyway, he's working hard to get it off the ground for the next merged domain on the 5th of April, and word is there may be some other big developments soon as far as vehicles are concerned, so stay tuned and I'll keep you in the loop. In other news, a lot of you have been asking what happened to being able to see your clothing in first person, and this is another thing that Helk is concentrating on getting implemented at the moment. It's currently being done on a separate branch, but is probably a lot more work than you think, with new view models being created for each clothing type. I'm sure it'll definitely be worth the wait though, and all being well, this too will happen before the next big patch. In performance, projectile pooling is a new optimization aimed at keeping the action smooth during gunfights, something that's definitely a big plus point when you're trying not to die. The goal is to lower the overhead on the client during sticky situations and will be on as default, although a new convar has been added if server owners would like to turn it off. Also, after some server instability last week, thanks to the scientists, they were initially disabled by default but were turned back on as of Monday. Uh, apart from uh, the junk piles, obviously. Over on Happis, landscaping efforts are continuing and there are some reworks to seldom used bits, such as an area around the small monument in U-22. Try to ignore the floating airfield in the background if you can, please. Nothing to see here! Some work has started on enhancing monuments with traps and puzzles to make them a bit more... Interesting. No screenshots to show you yet, I'm afraid, but apparently fuse boxes and card readers will be involved. More news as I have it. Apart from this, there have been a lot of commits related to the new reflection probe and environment shading, which, as I mentioned last week, should give some impressive performance gains. And the new oak trees are still being cultivated, but no new pictures just yet. Finally, I know a lot of you have been getting slightly upset by the fact that the chainsaw runs backwards, something that in reality would spray you with sword dust when getting wood and take your face off if the chain broke. Well, I had a word, and the powers that be have now swapped the chain around, reversed the polarity and greased the appropriate nipples, at least on the staging branch. Happy now? Thank you for tuning in again this week. Please slap that like button and sub to the channel if you approve. Come and join me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and my Steam group. And if you like what I'm doing here, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio.